I wasn't even gonna make this video this month because I'm so behind. Seeds that I was supposed to plant in March spilling over into April. But I figured I'd let you know what it is I'm gonna be planting this month. We got seven vegetables that we're planting, plus a couple that we uh, were doing that was supposed to be in last month. So let me show you what it is supposedly we're putting in the ground this month. So one of the first vegetables we're gonna be planting are our peas. Got these from MI Gardener. And these are the tall telephone variety. I think in England, maybe here too, they're called, they're also known as aldermen. I've seen a lot of uh, uh, gardeners from the UK plant alderman varieties. So I had looked up what they were and it says they're also known as the tall telephone. So MI Gardener had these and I figured I'd plant them. And the reason I got these is they're, they grow taller. Uh, does it say on here? Yeah, five to six feet in height. So that's what I was looking for. In the past, I've grown like the small bush varieties that grow maybe two feet tall. And I was hoping that one, these would be more prolific. And two, I wouldn't have to bend over quite so much <laughs> to pick them. So we'll, I'll be planting these down at the uh, uh, Victory Garden down there. And I'm gonna start them indoors, get them uh, going, and then plant them uh, out down there. Uh, I was supposed to plant these indoors last month, but as I said, I'm behind. So they'll be going in today, actually. I'll be soaking them overnight and then planting them tomorrow. The next uh, plant I'll be planting are beans. These are pole beans. They're Blue Lake Stringless. And I've got these Blue Lake Bush Beans. So two varieties, both Blue Lake, one bush, one pole. We'll see how they do. In the past, I've grown Kentucky Wonders and They've uh, actually done pretty well. Maybe I'll do like half of these Kentucky Wonders, see if they're still uh, viable. Uh, it's been a while. Let me see when. Uh, 2018. So we'll, you, we'll test these out, see if they're still viable. If not, I'll finally toss them. Also had some uh, Kentucky Wonders from 2019. So maybe I'll do a little bit of both, do that test. Five and six years is maybe a little long, but we'll see. But these are, uh, I think, fresh. Yes, packed for 2024. So, uh, yeah, I just picked these up. I think at uh, Home Depot I got these. These I picked up at Dollar Tree. I figured I'd see what they would do. They said they're a bush variety, and we'll uh, check them out. What I don't have here is another uh, bean I'm gonna be growing, or my kidney beans. I'm going to, again, grow the, uh, the pouch of store-bought uh, Goya beans that I did last year. They actually did uh, pretty good. It wasn't quite enough, <laughs> so I wanna plant a lot more of those. And uh, they're, uh, they'll be also going down at the Victory Garden. I plan on planting a lot of them because I had enough of those uh, kidney beans last year for one uh, good pot of chili and then uh, one of uh, Spanish rice and beans uh, dish that my uh, wife made up. Beans will be the other, another plant going in. The next plant will be corn. I got these golden bantams from MI Gardener. They, they come with 25 seeds, so 50 plants. And I was thinking, yeah, that'll be fine. But then I said, no, that won't, because I'm gonna be doing a whole four by 10, four by 12 uh, block of a garden bed here uh, at my home in the backyard. And I did, the, I did my corn last year down at the Victory Garden and some animal, whether it was raccoons or what, shredded the heck out of them. 
I got a lot more protection here in my backyard, so I'm gonna plant them. Now here, I could be planting in the square foot method. And so that's four corn stalks to a foot, square foot. So a four by 10 is quite a lot of uh, uh, corn that I'm gonna need. 50 seeds wasn't gonna cut it. So at uh, Home Depot, I picked up another uh, couple of packages of uh, corn. Just so happened to be the early golden bantam, same as uh, uh, the MI Gardener ones. And I'm not quite sure how many come in a pack here. It says 10 grams. Hey, you know what? Let's open it up and see how many come in. any but it looks like about the same three four five six seven yeah it looks like you're getting about 25 so 75 and 50 so i got about 125 uh potential corn stalks that i'll be growing and if it's not enough i'll make it fit in there anyway i could give them a little bit more uh, space between them. The early uh, golden bantam, they uh, they only grow about five feet tall. If you remember when I planted them in that new garden uh, bed that I had built last year, which I have since torn down, uh, those things got to like six, seven, eight feet tall. I wasn't expecting the corn that I planted uh, to get that tall. So this will be a little bit more manageable at about five feet, and I'll be able to do like hand pollination on these. That's the game plan, the way the garden's going this year. Not quite so much. Of course, I'll be growing more uh, lettuce. I'm gonna be planting another uh, crop of lettuce. I'm gonna do the black seeded Simpson this time and the salad bowl mix uh, from MI Gardener. These were the free seeds that I got. Now, the last uh, batch that I planted, the original batch, well, the mice in the greenhouse really like them. So those plants are almost completely gone, <laughs> chewed down to the uh, stumps. So interestingly, the corn, I mean, the potatoes that I have grown in here, they're not, uh, they haven't touched them at all. So apparently mice don't like potatoes <laughs> just as well. I had also started a, uh, a bunch of the uh, Lola Rosa that I got from uh, Guten Gardening and those actually took, and I guess because I was growing them, in, growing them indoors inside my house, uh, they were fine. So I just planted them out in the, uh, in the garden last week. Interestingly, when I planted them out, they were green like this. A week outdoors, they're red, <laughs> which is really interesting, which is actually, I'm happy about that because I wanted a, uh, a red variety of uh, lettuce just to mix it up. I think it'll go well with the uh, black seeded Simpson, which I'm going to uh, plant again. And then the prize head, or salad bowl mix, I should say, because I do have a uh, prize head uh, uh, seed as well. But I'm just going to do the black seeded Simpson and the salad bowl mix and uh, put them out. Now, one seed that should have gone in last month is carrots. I, I had picked up uh, this pack of. Uh, Danvers 126. I grew uh, Danvers 126 last year and uh, they did really well for me uh, but I used up all my seeds at the time so I picked up a seed. Because I ha apparently have Alzheimer's I uh, forgot I had bought this and I planted uh, my home save seed plus a seed, a seed packet that I got from uh, either Home Depot or Dollar Tree and so I have two barrels already planted uh, with carrots. Now, I don't know if my uh, home seed seed is viable or not. The tomatoes that I saved for last year, they're not doing well. Like the seeds really aren't sprouting. So uh, I'm not sure if those seeds were viable, if I did something wrong in the saving of them. Tomato she seeds should be one of the easiest things to save. And I seem to have screwed that up. So I've made two more plantings and only because I did uh, the second one, well, I did the second one 
And then I didn't trust the second one, so I did a third one. And so I've got them uh, waiting to sprout, and we're gonna see if they, they actually sprout. So those tomatoes are waiting to go. But I'm gonna find a place to put uh, these carrots that I uh, purchased. Or maybe I'll just hang on to them and see what happens with the uh, seeds that I, I already planted, see if they actually sprout, and maybe I could save them for a later harvest or something like that. But yep, carrots were supposed to go in last month, they went in last week. I didn't actually uh, film that because it was like, I, I was just in like, I gotta get this in the ground, I'm so late. So many things I'm so late with. Oh, these were the other carrots. So it was from uh, Dollar Tree and it's an heirloom variety, Red Cord Chantenay. Don't know what they do. Don't know how they uh, will grow, but I planted them in one of the barrels, so we'll see. Next, I'm going to plant the cantaloupe. This was my home save seed from two years ago. Uh, this was a volunteer plant that sprouted up amongst my garden beds. I got six really nice cantaloupe off of it, and I saved the seed from them. Don't know what, what they were and if it was actually going to be uh, comparable. The, I planted them last year, and if you recall, I had a I had a couple of nice cantaloupe growing, and my dog chasing a squirrel ripped them off the uh, vine. So I'm gonna try again, a little bit more protection for it though this time from the dog. I'm also gonna start a Waltham butternut. Probably not this pack. Guten Gardening also sent me some seeds for uh, a butternut squash that he had. And so I'm probably gonna plant those, see how they do. But maybe I'll plant a, a couple of these anyway, just in case. So, but I've got these uh, ready to go. I'm not gonna do any more uh, spaghetti squash this year. I actually still have like five spaghetti squash. I had so much spaghetti squash last year that I'm not going to uh, grow anymore. This was the, this is like the spaghetti squash that I had. If, if you remember, it, this actually grew into my neighbor's property and uh, got so, so many <laughs> uh, spaghetti squash. They store so well. So I still got like five or six uh, spaghetti squash. I've been slowly eating them, but you know what? There's only so, many, so much spaghetti squash I can eat. <laughs> so uh, going, working my way through them, but they're, uh, I got a lot, so I don't need to grow that this year. And then I'm gonna be planting pumpkins. These are my home safe seeds from two years ago again. And it's a uh, sugar pumpkin, a small sugar pumpkin. And I got about three or four uh, pumpkins last year uh, from one plant. And that was fine. I ended up making a bunch of pumpkin pies out of it. That's what I like doing. I just make pumpkin pies. So I'm not making like going for jack-o'-lanterns or anything like that. I actually canned the uh, the pumpkin mix and it actually worked out really good. It, it's nice. I did it with uh, my blueberries, uh, my blackberries, and also some apples that I picked uh, last year. I ended up making uh, a whole bunch of jars, a couple of dozen jars of each uh, last year uh, of uh, pie filling. And it's nice whenever you want a pie, you just go open up the jar that you've uh, canned and you uh, pop it into uh, a crust. And the last thing I'm going to plant is a sugar baby watermelon. I think I got one, two watermelon last year and they were good. I mean, I was hoping for a little bit more and I'm pretty sure, oh, you know what I do? I have the seeds, I saved the seeds from them. That's right. So I'm not gonna be planting these for the Mountain Valley Seed Company. These are two years old, these seeds. Uh, I do have the uh, seeds, they're stored away. Um, so I'm gonna be planting the home save from last year. I was stand As I'm standing here, I'm thinking about it and I just remembered I actually do have that. So. Uh, yes, I'll be planting uh, the pumpkin that I say the pumpkin seeds that I saved uh, from my garden last year. 
So it will be a busy month. We've uh, reached the supposed uh, last frost date this month. So that's good. Anywhere between the first of the month and the last of the month of April is supposed to be our uh, spring, uh, last spring frost. So we never quite sure, but it has been getting steadily warmer. So hopefully all that's behind us and we just have uh, nice growing weather ahead. But if you wanna see what we were doing in the garden last week, check out this video right here and then subscribe and hit that notification bell. And that way you'll be able to follow along in the progress on all of our vegetables as we try to grow a supermarket in our own backyard. Okay, thanks for watching.